Hello guys and welcome to my react course. In this course you will learn everything you need to know about react. We will work with the react concepts with examples. First of all we will focus on the core concepts of react like going through the installation procedure. We will see how to create components, how to import and export a component and understanding JSX etc. After that we will go ahead and learn some complicated stuff in react like the topics related to props states and hooks. After that we will learn how to fetch data coming from server and how to display it in our front end. We will also learn about routing and navigation etc. Then we will learn how to deal with the data and for that we will understand Redux that is a node package that will help us to manage the data across our application. And once we had covered all the topics then at the end we will wrap all the knowledge that we have learned in the entire course by building awesome web applications as the course projects and of course we will build mini projects before that but at the end we will build little bit large projects that you can of course mention in your portfolio and resume as well. Now starting off this is going to be the first video where you will learn about introduction to react and we will cover the topics like what is react, we will debate on is react a javascript library or framework, the history of react, what are the features that react provides, why it is so popular and finally we will see what are the prerequisites to learn react. So let's get started. First of all let's see what is react. React is a javascript library for building awesome user interfaces. The user interface is basically the point of interaction between human and a device. In simple words what you see on the screen is called the UI or user interface. React allows you to create the front end of websites. It means that after learning react JS you can become a front end developer and this is one of the biggest advantage of learning react. Now there is a confusion that is in the head of so many people that is react a javascript library or framework. So react is not a framework although it seems to be like a framework because it has somehow all the features that a framework has. React is a javascript library for building user interfaces. Now the difference between library and a framework is that a library allows you to use some of the features provided by a language and makes you code faster. Like you know jQuery is a library that is just used to write javascript in more effective way. Similarly react is also a library. On the other hand a framework provides a complete skeleton of an app. You can start developing your application based on framework like you have angular a framework and similarly you have django a python framework. In fact react is a library according to the official documentation but it also has many features that framework provides which makes react very powerful. Like most of the functionalities that react has to be in installed separately but on the other hand angular as a framework has those functionalities that are built in. Such as routing is a built in package in angular but react uses a third party package for implementing routing. So this is why react is considered as a javascript library. Now let's talk a little about the history of react. So react was first designed by Jordan Walkie a software engineer at Facebook. It was first developed for Facebook news feed around 2011 as a testing purpose purpose and performed very well and then later in 2013 it was made open source officially at JS conference. The features of react includes hot reloading which means you can see the life changes in the development and secondly it uses component based approach which means you can separate your website into multiple components and then design and implement the logic for each component separately. This makes not only the development speedy but also allows you to reuse the code in your application. Now let's see why react. So first of all react is created and maintained by Facebook which is very commonly known social media platform and Facebook is continuously working on the react library and enhancing it by fixing bugs and introducing new features. Secondly it has a huge community on github and stack overflow which means that if you stuck at something then you will find many solutions easily by doing an online search. And finally it is based on component architecture that allows you to break 
separate your website into parts and focus each part separately and reuse components in your application. That is why React is considered the most popular JavaScript framework these days. Also here is the list of few popular websites powered by React library. You have Facebook, a popular social media application, Instagram which is also a very popular social media application, Netflix which is very powerful media streaming application, Code Academy that is a popular learning platform, Reddit which is a popular content sharing application. So as you can see that React library has covered the most popular application in every field of tech world. So finally let's see what are the prerequisites for learning react so first of all you should be little bit familiar with HTML CSS and JavaScript the basic knowledge of these will work after that you should know a little about ES6 features that includes fetching an API using fetch method using array methods such as map method filter method and reduce method but trust me if you follow the course from A to Z then I will guarantee that you will get these concepts clear and finally you should know a little about NPM the node package but these are minor requirement in learning react but the first point is necessary that is learning the core concepts of web development the HTML CSS and JavaScript and rest of them we will learn step by step while learning react so this was a little introduction about react I hope you have found this video helpful for more videos like this make sure to like share and subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon next to it also if you want to support this channel financially you can do it on patreon with as little amount as two dollars i will also put the source code of all projects in this course here on patreon also i highly recommend that you should bookmark and save this course and follow the entire playlist from start to finish with me so at last thanks a lot for watching and i will see you in the next time